everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today, we have more from content. content. Um, so over the course of last week, I ended up not being very well. <laughs> uh, I basically, it was nothing serious, nothing crazy. It was just a combination of being very, very tired. Um, some very intense weather changes. We went from very, very hot here to very wet and windy and kind of gross and comparatively much colder um, and my body reacts in not fun ways to weather changes like that. <clears throat> so it's that, I was super tired, I was worn out from the sheer onslaught of comebacks that we have had um, and yeah I was just very <clears throat> and not feeling great um, over the course of last week so um, I did manage to chip away and watch a few things over on Patreon, um, Fromis related. I actually did quite a lot of Fromis related stuff because Fromis are one of my comfort groups. They make me feel better when I watch their content. So I watched the spin-off episodes for Channel 9. I watched, um, what else did I watch? Oh my god, I did so much. I, I can't even remember. <laughs> I did those. I did their Immortal Song stages. I did... The weekly idol episode what was the other thing i did another thing and i can't remember what it is now ah the comeback stage and um the Limujin service episode that duon and hyung were on that was what i did so i did a lot of promise content last week over on patreon there's a shit ton of promise content over there anyway but now there's more um so yeah things have been quiet here on youtube but i have chipped away a couple of things over on patreon and now I am finally getting to their studio tune and their dance practice. It actually worked out quite nicely because they obviously released the dance practice yesterday, a couple of days ago. I can't remember exactly when, but it means that I can check them both out in this one video um, and kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Uh, the comeback itself, I am absolutely obsessed with. Stay This Way is amazing. The album is immaculate. I love it so much. I have not stopped listening to it. <laughs> um, I'm going to be posting a... <coughs> Um, a video of my May favorite songs and my June favorite songs, and you will see Promise is very heavily featured in my June favorites, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into this. Quick note, I do know that they have an episode of Silence of Idol. There is a lot happening this week. <coughs> I'm gonna try and get to it uh, either on Wednesday or Friday, just kind of depending on how things go. Um, I would have loved to watch it today, but I've just got too much on today, so there's no way. Um, so we're gonna watch this and then we'll watch Silence of Idol at some point this week, but rest assured, we will be getting to it. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff that I wanna get to as well on Patreon. Like I wanna, I really wanna watch um, Two Meals. Really, really wanna watch that. I know that's kind of some older content. I'm sure at some point um, Channel 9 is gonna pick back up again, so. It's all happening. My, my, my channel has basically become a Fromis channel <laughs> at this point. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's great. Anyway, let's get into this. So, like I said, I have watched the comeback stage um, and I have watched their stages since. Been having a great time. Been having a great, great time um, watching their stages. They look amazing. Their fan chants have been awesome, which is really cool. Um, uh, yeah, so I have seen... <coughs> more of the choreo than we see in the music video but um i've been purposefully not paying crazy amounts of attention to it because i wanted to um save like the bulk of my thoughts and everything for this video where i go through the tomb and the dance practice so um besties men of the future did the choreo for this again and i love their choreography so i love their choreography for dm and their choreography is for a bunch of other groups, so I'm super excited to get into this. So let's watch the studio tune. Three, two, one. Ego. <coughs> also, excuse me if I keep clearing my throat. I nearly choked in a, another video. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my God. I love that movement of the like waves over. No, because Giri's smile has been wrecking the shit out of me. Also, I'm going to be pausing during this. In case that wasn't abundantly clear, I'm going to be pausing. But yeah, Giri's smile has been wrecking the crap out of me this whole this whole period. Also, hold on. Okay, maybe that was wishful thinking because my internet did die earlier, but, you know, we're buffering, it's fine. 
Like, ah, uh, just look at her smile. <laughs> Oh, I like that little skip. That's so cute. Oh, I love them so much. I love that move. Oh my god, Jason looks so good. I'm just trying to take everything in so that when we get to the dance practice I can go in a bit more detail. There's so many like little details and little moments. And also I just love them and I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Such a good movement. I love the Magne line moment. I love it so much. Hey, hey, hey. This song is so good. <laughs> What a great ending shot. What a great ending shot. Oh, we have we have an ending fairy. Miss Ma'am, you're so beautiful. I love you. Okay, right. I'm gonna just let it go on to the dance practice quickly and then we're gonna then we're gonna pause. So <clears throat> if I might speak praises of Men of the Future for just a second. <laughs> As if I haven't done so a hundred times in a hundred different videos. Um if you don't know, you're not aware, Men of the Future are my favourite choreography team. Um, they have done choreographies for a bunch of different groups. Um, they choreographed for Pixie, they have choreographed for Seventeen, they have choreographed for Stray Kids, and Twice, and Itzy. Um, I'm pretty sure they did Nyon's uh, solo release. Um, they obviously they did DM so on and so forth. They work with a whole bunch of different groups and they have a very broad stylistic range and broad repertoire and they're able to kind of, yeah, they're, they're able to choreograph excellently for a bunch of different styles and a bunch of different groups, which is one of the reasons why I love them. And the reason that I bring that up is because one of the things that I really appreciate about what they do with Fromis is I feel like for a song like this, um, you know, and a vibe like this. I'm not saying other choreography teams couldn't do this, but I love the way that Men of the Future does it. You know, they keep things very feminine, very light, very, um, you know, it's very pretty and sweet and it's easy to follow, right? Like with your eyes, it's very easy to watch. Um, there's no like, no crazy stunts, nothing insane. Um, you know, it kind of it, it matches Fromis's vibe and style, right? <coughs> 
but aside like how do I word this how do I word this right um I feel like there's a tendency not necessarily by choreographers themselves but especially by viewers to look at choreographies in a style like this where it's more feminine more light um you know less intense no crazy stuff all of that sort of stuff uh to look at them as weaker choreographies and not as interesting and while i'm very much of the believer that everyone has their personal taste right you're gonna have different things that you um that you gravitate towards that's perfectly fine but i do take issue with the idea that a choreography that is more feminine and light and pretty and all of that is in any way a weaker choreography and i feel like men of the future whether they're aware of that idea or not, they I'm really struggling to word this in the way that I want to. They seem to take that idea and say no 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 no. <laughs> um and they make their choreographies so interesting to watch. Like I was saying, I was trying to just Trying to just focus and take everything in and not get too distracted by them. Um, to really like take in the choreography. There's so many little details and little images and moments that you're just like, oh, that's a really clever thing when you think about it. Like that's a really clever little moment. That's a clever detail, it's a clever image. Um, like their their choreographies are very intuitive, very smart. And it makes it so interesting and fun to watch without compromising any of the femininity or the lightness or the brightness. Does so that, that make sense? You know what I mean? Um, like, I feel like if I ever hear anyone say, oh, feminine choreos, lighter choreos like this um, are weaker in any way, I'll literally just like shove this <laughs> in their face and be like, no. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. I don't know what you're watching, but it's not the same shit that I'm watching. Like, there's just so much to it. There's so much depth to it, even if it isn't, you know, outwardly in your face and aggressive and having, you know, you look at like Pixie's choreo that is full of insane imagery and powerful, impactful moments that are very like, whoa <laughs> like very in your face and you're aware of it happening you're like god damn that is an insane bit of choreography in this and in similar choreos that they've done it's much more subtle and i feel like you have to look a little bit deeper but once you do it's actually becomes kind of mind-blowing just how many layers and images and moments that they've worked into it i hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense, even in the slightest. Um, I feel like I waffled a bit there, but still, basically what I'm trying to say is I really like this choreo, and I love Men of the Future, and I love the way that they work, um, and I think that they're an incredible choreography team, um, and I hope that Fromis continues to work with them, because they just make them shine so well. Anyway, right, yeah, let's go through the dance practice, or choreography video, as it is said here. Um... I'm pretty sure this is fixed cam, yeah. So I can, uh, yeah, I'll pause and I'll talk about different moments here and there um, that I that I want to point out because there's a few of them. Okay, let's go. This is another thing, actually, completely aside from the choreography, but I mentioned this on Discord and I want to mention it here as well. Fun fact, this is the first time, I think, since... Since Dugan Dugan, I think? That Nagyong has not in some way introed the song, whether it be having the first line or, um, you know, being a part of the, like, intro itself. This is the first time <laughs> since Dugan Dugan. <laughs> Which is kind of wild. Like, even in the songs where she doesn't have the first line, she is, at the very least, like, the intro part. It's kind of wild. Anyway, um, that's a random little aside, but I just thought I'd mention it because I found it kind of, kind of amusing. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. 
love the opening on the floor. So elegant, so beautiful. And then, yeah, that is such a cool movement. It took me a while to figure out what kind of image it is. And what I, I think it's meant to represent a wave, like the way a wave crashes. It's obviously, it's not all at once. It like, it like does that. <laughs> It goes in a wave, if you will, um, when it crashes. And I think that's what that's meant to be. Like them coming through in a wave like that um, is meant to represent like a wave crashing, which is a really, really cool image. And there's a lot of images that kind of represent like the ocean and the beach and, you know, that whole kind of vibe. It's really, really cool. And what a great way to start <laughs> the choreo. And one thing that I think From Us has always done really well is the way that they group off. Um, like, they did this a lot with DM, and I'm pretty sure they've done it in other choreos as well, where they, like, take, like, four members or five members or whatever number and, like, put them into separate groups, and each group is kind of doing their own thing, but then they bring them back together and blend them so seamlessly. Like, the way this, like, line of five, like, just blends back in. It's so smooth. <laughs> it's so smoothly done. Oh my god, Sedon put a whole, whole hit into that movement. Okay, right. There's a lot to take in. Try not to get bias wrecked and take in the car here. Okay. Also, can I just say, Jisun is absolutely glowing this whole era. Like, I know that she's one of the members that really, really caught the sun when they were in Saipan. Um, he looks incredible. <laughs> she looks incredible. She is absolutely glowing. Okay, all right. Anyway, continue. Wait, okay, I got distracted by Serum again. She's just giving it. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, I like how they do that. So... Yeah, so you have the, the four on the opposite ends. They go up while the other four in the middle go down while Gyuri is up. And then they they swap. That's such a cool... And then we have the wave coming into the middle. Okay, this is what I mean. There's so many little details. Once you actually really start looking and really start paying attention, there is so much happening in this choreography. Don't you wink at me, Hyung, you absolute cutie. Okay. I love the skip step. It's so cute. And the way they break out with like Gyuri turning and then Nagin, that's really cute. Oh. Look at the arms. Like... You know they practice that for hours to get that right. Like, who was going in what direction and when, like... the way they ah the way um i think it's yeah tail and Hyung. the way they like come in like meet serum and then like float away again gorgeous okay they went into that formation so seamlessly so smooth these little, these little ways, these little ripples coming, coming into center are so cute. As well, like especially the fact that that's being on her little, ah, like that's just a really cute little leader. And then the the shell, the shell is so cute. I love this part, this part of the choreo, this movement, like everything is so flowy. It's so fluid and pretty and smooth, very much, you know, like the ocean, it's just going with it. But then you have this moment in the second half of the chorus where, or second half of the first part of the chorus, <laughs> where they suddenly get kind of like a little bit stronger with it and you have these kind of like isolated movements it just adds such a cool little texture to it i love it ah. 
so cool. I love you. Thank you for that little edit there. Um, it's actually kind of interesting to whoops to watch this from this angle. Oh, wait. <laughs> interesting the way you have these lines that go down to the ground the seeds, so good. they go down and they go down i wonder if that's meant to be an image or something or represent something or if it was just like a cool little level change <laughs> i don't know i like it though Ah, I love the kick. Yeah, this, this, this bridge, <laughs> this bridge is immaculate. <laughs> like, we have a little, little Magne line moment here in the center to start us off, and then it just, ah. Uh, so good. Also, the way they sit into that dam, it really said. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. How does Sion. What? She literally just like melts into the background. Like, you do not notice her going at all. Like part of that is is Nagyang and, and Taeyang coming together like that. Like that really helps like kind of hide her going back like that. But she really just melts into the background. <laughs> and Taeyang, uh, not Taeyang, and Hyun comes forward to kind of take the place that she was. And then they start off and then hey, we have the little groove. I love the groove moment. We love some floor curry. Oh, that's cool. So they get up in a line. That takes some coordinating, man. Again, you know they practice this to shit. Mmm. I love the way Jisun does this move. Like, she just has such a good bounce and groove, like, through her shoulders and her hips. Like, it's, I don't know, there's something really satisfying about the way Jisun does that move. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's such a cute little outro moment where they all hold hands. Oh, I love how the way the, the back line, like, comes through all, like, very, very musical theatre, the way they kind of come through with their hands up like that. Hey, hey, hey. That's so satisfying with the arms, please. Oh, that's such a fun choreo, please. That is such a fun choreo. I just, I love them. I love Men in the Future. You bring them together. 
of course I'm gonna be obsessed with the choreo. <laughs> of course I am, like, why wouldn't I be? Anyway, that was a great time. I don't even really have like final thoughts for that. That was just awesome and I love them and the choreo is great and the song is great and I love everything about this comeback, basically. Anyway, <laughs> like I said, plenty more from his content to come um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I am sure. Hopefully we get to see them get a couple of wins. Um, over the course of this week that would be really really nice i know that they're they're doing pretty well scoring wise so fingers crossed but anyway i will end this one here now thank you guys very very much for watching i will catch you in the next one hey, bye bye <coughs>